Most kids today either don't know their fathers or wish they didn't. Could this come from having prioritized romance above a family? Young men ask who was the right wife when they should ask who will be the right mother. You know she will respect your kids if she respects you. But no one wants to wait. Those who wait patiently are constantly pushed, pressured, questioned, suspected, and slandered by those who want an excuse to distract themselves from their own failed choices. Don't worry about other people's choices. Mind your own life. Do we know what we need? God does. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Everyone can lift or lean, whether in prayer, politics, family, or economics. Even in sports and online gaming, when a team is losing, some players seem to think that blamer mode will cause a comeback. Then there are players who keep going, despite verbal vomit from their own team and even their own coach. They say that the disarming types of people are more focused on the people they interact with than anything else. We naturally trust those who don't nanny because they don't need a nanny. It's generally a personal choice. But it can also be a group choice. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Fear brings the tendency for a preemptive attack. Do to others before they do to you, so our fears say. It seems like wisdom. We call it prevention. And we convince many people to support us. Then we beat the opponent to the punch. Soon after our first strike, our enemy hits back. See, see, we say, he wanted to hit us. The world is full of dangerous people. Cut them off at the pass. So begins military buildup. Escalation, alliances, espionage, strategy, planning, analysis. But has any quantitative analysis ruled out that preemptive solutions to conflict could be self-fulfilling placebos? That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Innovation is at a standstill because tech industries have too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Manufacturers in Asia want to be like Western brands, but they reject the Western methods of consulting for their creative brainstorming. Asia wants the face of the West without the mind. Looking back at the lingering civil wars in China and Korea from 60 years ago, not much has changed. Blackmail by tears from controlling mothers and self-made victims in America aren't different either. It's as if everyone has their own problems they hope to solve by bossing someone else. After failing, they blame God. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Good rules are like an elevator. 95% doesn't go to the top. Or like a bridge that spans 95% of a river. Almost perfect rules mostly get in everybody's way. But why would anyone do a rush job of making rules? Those who make the most rules are most likely to break them. They really don't care about following their rules. So, turbo rule makers don't need rules that work to fulfill their own personal reasons for making rules. Excessive, almost across the river rules seem wise to those who don't need to follow them. Actually, 
it's an addiction. Or an unneeded bureaucrat justifying his own job. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Governments view journalism as an indoctrination tool, for better or worse. Journalists see it as the work of a demigod who can't lie by definition. To ISIS, newspapers are just as flammable as the infidels who write for them and read them. And to the readers, news is not worth paying money for since social media gossip is faster and less inaccurate. In America, negative news sells. Is hate any different if it comes from ISIS against the West or from a Baptist arguing with a Pentecostal? We argue a lot, but only hearts change laws and only love changes hearts. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. The Bible is very clear on many things. One topic is homosexuality. Another topic is that God gave us a free will. Another is that God alone is the judge. Another topic is that Christians should love sinners, which is another way of saying that Christians should love other Christians. Of the many wise teachings Christians disobey is what the Bible has to say about sowing and reaping. But even more than Christians love disobeying the Bible, they love judging others for disobeying the Bible. Now, homosexuals want to judge Christians, proving the Bible right. You reap what you sow. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Church resembles development and programming in many ways. Open sourcing, including Raspberry Pi and 3D printing, can improve life. Being bumpy, the establishment often hates them. Open source proved its worth with Wikipedia and decentralized Christianity in the underground church of China. Management easily despises the geeky, hard-to-get-along-with, talented people who make projects work. Talent and team, quote-unquote, don't fit together. A secret only the publishing world seems to have figured out. When management and talent have a falling out, they split. Talent starts something new. The old establishment complains, implodes, then history repeats. In business, tech, church, and politics. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Jesus is the answer in Asia. Unpopular as it seems, propaganda-like as it smells, Jesus is the answer in Asia. Chinese don't know that forgiveness is an option. Even Sunni Muslims call Esau's descendants in Palestine their brothers, but want no home for the house of Jacob, Esau's younger brother Israel. Critics and cynics scoff and say, Christianity is about domination, money, false hopes, and cult marketing. While these things are true of churchianity, they aren't true of pure Bible. But those who depended on attending churchianity sermons without reading the Bible themselves don't know the difference. Do your homework. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. A heavy hand isn't always the strongest. A calloused hand lacks the sensitivity to know what it touches. Justice, war, patience, friendship, and peace require information. Many tyrants blindly bring down their fists on broken glass thinking to crush an egg. The problem doesn't come from a failure to check first. 
but whether to bring one's hand down at all. One of the key factors of combat is keeping a center of balance. Throwing a punch can offset that balance. Fingers can feel out a situation better than a fist. Strong fingers have grip and prove more useful than heavy fists. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. The seeker-sensitive critics got it half right. Bill Hybels was right to make sure that non-Christians could understand his messages. He also made sure that Christians could understand his messages. Seeker-sensitive, quote-unquote, originally sought to answer the questions that normal people ask and use the words that normal people use, instead of only preaching with lofty words to those already convinced. Seeker-sensitive was also a kind of warning. It allowed a small amount of church without Jesus. Non-Christians could go and feel welcome, given the premise that they were seeking. But what the church needs and always needed was Jesus without churchianity. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Clubs and tests tend to offer success by permission. Progress with an institutional structure is bestowed, not earned. It isn't always accurate and invites cronyism. Getting out into the real world is another thing. Like farming, nothing real comes without real work. There is no cheating on life's test. Hunting is also similar. The strong prey on the weak, and weak lions don't survive. Zoos don't raise strong lions. Institutions can't raise champions. Common core can't train tomorrow's leaders in school or church. Centralized Christian fellowship has a glass ceiling on knowing Jesus and each other. Establishments can help until they interfere. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Doing the right thing isn't always easy. We often want to do something foolish when we feel bad. And when the consequences of foolishness flourish, we feel even worse. It's better to practice wisdom, especially when we don't feel like it. Right now, the world is focused on rights instead of wisdom. Homosexual rights, religious rights, divorced parents' rights, health care rights, welfare rights. Right now, even when we don't feel like it, we need responsible mothers and fathers living together, earning money, raising children, electing responsible leaders, and honoring God who designed us accordingly. If we don't, we'll feel bad. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Moderates have tried for millennia to fix everything from economics to religion to politics, even personal relationships. They mean well, but only fail and insult because right and left can't merge. There isn't much room in the middle of the road. Nor can everyone ride the fence. Some fences keep us safe and give us the self-imposed limits we need in order to be happy. Other fences should be torn down. No fences should be ridden. Roads are for riding, not standing. Safe roads need a right and a left with clear lines that aren't crossed. So do countries. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other.
we easily get distracted, especially with good things. Home-based copywriters often struggle with getting addicted to self-help blogs. They get so busy self-improving that they don't actually do anything that makes money. America has become so focused on rights and compassion. Production is sliding and we can't fund the countries that have become dependent on our charity and military. Our problems begin at home. We are obsessed with marketing ourselves with health, fitness, or frame of mind. Did we pick that up from copywriters? Maybe they got it from trying to understand the market. Or maybe we're in a tailspin. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. The marketing message of churchianity is, if you don't attend Sunday morning, then you can forget Jesus. But the implication is, if you attend Sunday morning, then you can forget the rest of the week. For the last millennium, most people did either one or the other. Former churchianity members, recently disenfranchised, don't want to forget Jesus. They want to forget Sunday morning and remember Jesus from when they first met. Sinking business models often use marketing to stay afloat after a change in the tide. Maybe marketing Sunday morning had a reverse effect. Or maybe it just didn't matter. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. A mother sees her son riding on TV, then finds him for a smackdown. Police are told to stand down and retreat. The mother is hailed as a heroine, then criticized for standing up in her family more than police in Baltimore. Rioters try to justify riots. Sharpton warns not to play with matches. And the right wing says there's no excuse for the riots. Left and right fail to understand one thing. Right or wrong, angry rioters will burn down buildings and angry mothers will smack down their adult children. We need smarts, not just rights. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Coming trends are for companies to eliminate managers. By and large, they are useless. Managers were invented in the late 1800s to push workers who were deemed lazy. The cut will save money and, more importantly, reduce turnover. Instead of nannies who constantly badger about teamwork, skilled workers will have leaders or go-to people. Being irritable and quirky will no longer get a craftsman fired. Bad craftsmanship will. Managers are not especially trained in the core skill of a company's product or service. They're trained in working with people as a skill itself. But a company can't sell people skills. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Conflict escalates when people use the same words to talk about different things. People agree about their ideas and have neither need nor room to compromise. But because they use the same words to discuss different perspectives, they don't agree. Explaining is not excusing. Politeness is not pandering. If I don't like you, I'll feed you. Not because I'm afraid of you, but because that's what Christians do to enemies. If you mock me, I'll listen to you and thank you and love you because that's what a wise man does to a fool. Ask yourself, what would fools do? And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Trends Circle 
What was trendy yesterday isn't trendy today, but it probably will be trendy again tomorrow. Consider steampunk or gothic fashion. What about furniture? The Arion chair from Her Herman Miller didn't fit the fashion. It contradicted fashion to be more comfortable. In turn, it set its own fashion, and many other pieces of furniture, not only chairs, tried to mimic the unfashion of the Arian. Is it really fashion that sells well? Or is it function? Gothic and steampunk are very anti-functional. Old school ain't bad. Perhaps old school fashion sells because some functions never go out of style. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Change is always greeted by the most hard nose and yet subtle opposition. Sacred cows and expired traditions don't help guard doctrine. They actually encourage dangerous and deceptive ideas. As long as we keep our sacred cows, we don't care if the nation's leader calls for the slaughter of millions of Jews. As long as a president uses the word patriot, we don't care if he illegally spies on our personal phone calls. As long as the Sunday morning answer man is called pastor, it doesn't matter if he defines Christ as anyone who pretends to bring world peace. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. I knew people back around 2005 who grew tired of a condemning breed of preaching in their city. Looking for answers, they drove an hour to learn from Rob Bell. At least they were attending Certified Sunday, right? A few years later, many of them turned their backs on all belief in Jesus, giving many arguments that seemed to come from Rob. Things might have gone differently if they had quit attending Sunday mornings altogether. Maybe they'd be nominal churchless Christians. But Sunday morning fiefdom lords must rubber stamp each other, no matter who they stamp, no matter what the cost. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. We all waited. Now it needs to stop. The tax ID government registered church fellowships need to stop. They don't need to stop meeting or buying big buildings. They don't need to stop paying near six-figure pensions. But they need to stop slandering their future. They need to stop hating. They need to stop misrepresenting and mischaracterizing each other. They need to stop finding excuses not to talk to each other. And they need to stop with the passive-aggressive attacks on informal Christian fellowship that they will soon depend on themselves. They need to stop persecuting the future. Their future. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Right and left seem obsessed over problems with opposing presidential candidates. Conservative media bashes Hillary with problems, quote-unquote, her supporters don't even care about. Hippies smear every Republican candidate, especially those more likely to win the GOP nomination, when they have no plans to vote in GOP primaries. All they do in the end is give free advertising to their opposite political party. Don't bash someone else's business. Mind your own. Conservative bloggers have no reasonable fear of Hillary getting support from conservative readers. Unless conservatives fear a true conservative won't win the GOP nomination and Hillary will be their best choice. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Think carefully about the paranoia surrounding conspiracy theories. Think about the panic. And then think about the past. True or false, most conspiracy theories hinge on a group of bloodlines who gained great power through deceit and cunning one, two, and three centuries ago. 
This is a consensus among kooks. But the last half century shows a shift from plan A to plan B. And the kooks think the elites are about to plan P by now. Whoever the puppet masters are, if they are, they are also getting uncreative and lazy. And for some reason, common folk are working a lot. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. The problem with Christians is that they think kick-ass is a swear word. It is clear they think so because they never do it. It always happens to them. In their minds, it's okay to have their asses kicked because at least they didn't swear. But Jesus was the greatest ass kicker of all time. He kicked ass at the cross, rode an ass the day before, beat the devil's ass, resurrected his own ass, saved our asses, healed our asses, and now he owns my ass and yours too. Maybe Christians would kick ass if they gave God overdue kick-ass glory. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. If your Sunday morning fellowship is good and beneficial, then share it with the world. Tell everyone how your divorce rate and teenage pregnancy rates are lower than average. Tell about the stories of when you loved each other and your enemies. If you're Pentecostal, post a list of the many Baptists you have meaningful Christian fellowship with each week. And if you're Baptist, do the same about Pentecostals. I'll celebrate with you and help tell your exemplary story on the condition that you don't follow in the footsteps of Jim Jones and badmouth those who want to leave your fellowship. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Someone needs to notify Sunday Morning Churchianity that no one is perfect is not an alibi. It's an indictment and a call to repentance. Bad leadership is forgivable. As with any stewardship, leaders will be rewarded for better or worse. We need leadership that doesn't need so much forgiveness. That old sing-song, no church is perfect script hasn't solved problems. It hasn't attracted more participants. It hasn't helped participants who stay. It hasn't shown good stewardship. It hasn't put money to good use. It hasn't finished the Great Commission. It hasn't done much more than complain about complaining about complaining. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. For almost two millennia, Christians lived in pockets. The gospel would reach a region. There would be miracles, repentance, and joy. The believers would click up and live the rest of this life together. Conflict arises when these pockets outlive their purpose. Like old wine in old wineskins, new wine just doesn't mix. After two millennia, we see a new problem. New or old, there is too much wine to fit into any wineskins. Soon, non-believers, not believers, will live in pockets. And they will have to take over Sunday morning because there will be no other pockets left small enough. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Call me different, but I did blog quite a bit about lions one month ago when I learned about a lion called Christian. And I did look into history to see that the stars and bars flag isn't actually the Confederate flag. Yes, poaching and racism are problems, but if the public allows the TV to schedule public outcry, then we have a new form of slavery. The very existence of the KKK is a much bigger problem than the Stars and Bars flag. And the long overdue see I told you so over abortion is more important than any poached lion. 
Christian the lion included. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. While the establishment politicians and pundits argue over Trump's electability, what other sectors of society is Trump affecting? Trump made money in real estate, clothing, media, and investment. Now, as a rookie, he is dominating veteran politics. Electability aside, Trump is emboldening sympathizers and enraging opposition. His support only swells. Whether or not Trump becomes the next president, Americans are being seen for who they are. Those with potential are stepping up their game. Dissenters are becoming so angry that they can't think straight, alienating, miscalculating, self-destructing, and spilling their beans. Revival is already here. It arrived with Trump's announcement. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. You win the game you know best. You know the game you play best. Most fathers in America know more about the rules of football than the rules of the House and Senate. Christians banter about the rules for attending Sunday morning more than the rules for knowing what ancient literature does and does not mean. Unions march to get more money for the same work rather than decisions to ensure long-term job existence. Companies complain about cost and pay for marketing rather than focusing on quality. At this rate, Asia and Russia will take over our country. Oops, they already have. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. There comes a time to move. It usually happens unscheduled, unanticipated, and never at a convenient moment. We always have our reasons to stay. Comfort, fear of the unknown, huge challenges. But it's time to advance anyway. The best kept secret about predators is their fear. Predators live in constant fear. They fear being attacked. They attack because of hunger, fear of starvation. So, if you advance against a predator, it is more likely to stand down. Advancing can be an attack, but also winning the enemy's friendship. Sometimes advancing is the safe thing. Those who have advanced before usually no. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. China is the nearest and most understated problem facing America. Complex taxes and health care's hidden frivolous lawsuit problems get more attention, but China is the nearest threat. But the biggest wave maker in America trails China. Changes to Sunday morning. Sunday morning affects Americans of any religion, any liturgy, any political ideology. It affects the work week, news, comedy, literature, jobs, city zoning, and school curriculum. When it shifts, everything will shift. Clergy make Sunday attendance a question of fellowship, quote unquote. But, people are fed up for different reasons. Christians want freedom to work on the first day of the week. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. All olives matter. But some are more important depending on the ethnicity. Mexican and Italian really needs black olives. That's not to discriminate against green olives, which belong on a blue cheeseburger. But salsa, burritos, lemon chicken salad, tacos, spaghetti, pizza, Mexican or Chicago, black olives matter much more than green or red olives. 
Am I an olive chauvinist? Yes, but not as much as I am a food chauvinist. As farmers, my grandparents fed us soul food. While I didn't much care for their overcooked fattening recipes, they had black olives. And that mattered. It still does. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. The Americas were named after Amerigo Vespucci, who demonstrated that Columbus was wrong. He hadn't traveled to Asia, he had discovered the New World. The New World meant freedom from the old oppressive powers of the Old World. Not having a proper name, the United States has assumed the name of the New World, America. The states have not kept freedom perfectly. But they have fared well among other countries in the Americas, in the States, blacks conquered slavery and natives were reserved rather than exterminated. The great mistake of the States was helping the old world that didn't want help. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. None of us are perfect. Some of us want to be. Imperfection has problems. Mistakes need forgiveness. Wisdom requires maturity. Good choices aren't easy. Success doesn't feel good before it's achieved. But the path to perfection has deeper problems. None of us know what perfection is or what it even looks like. Many times we can't do the right thing because we don't know what it even is. Some of the rules we grow up with are good. Some are not. But we never have all of the right rules. So, we need patient forgiveness for foolishness as well as ignorance. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. America's sexual liberation culture took us away from the man-woman monogamous marriage tradition since our birth rate plummeted. Muslims haven't focused on what they can do, but on what is best. Right or wrong, disagreeable or acclaimed, Muslims survive. And they know how to make babies better than World War II vets. Sex is about family. Government is about safety, not money. Worship is about fulfillment. The West forgot. We use sex and money for fulfillment. And worship is the only thing not allowed on Sunday morning. Now, look at the results of our ambitions. Do they help us survive? That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Overreaching doesn't begin to describe the state of the states. Something happens in the hearts of free and honest people when their patience has been usurped and their good nature taken advantage of one too many times. And once that line has been crossed, all the powers on earth can't reverse the resolve of such an honest people. This is why honest men need not fear evil. Evil always overplays its hand. Evil always outreaches its limits and doesn't even know that limits exist. So then, wicked men 
may not even know when they've lost, making them easier to conquer. Utterly. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Everyone wants excitement in their time. Except for the people who live to see excitement in their time. Secret truth about life number 436 is that great things are accomplished through the ordinary and the mundane. Exciting results rarely come from exciting work. Consider railroads, bridges, and walls. Beautiful streets were laid brick by brick. Trains travel on rails that sit atop one tie after another. Poured concrete fills molds that are assembled one plate at a time. Steady, continued, boring, yet thoughtful work is not only the master craftsman of great accomplishment. It's not only honorable and exemplary. It is powerful. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. God never gives prophecies without choice. He gives conditional warnings. He explains approaching punishment after our choices forced his hand. But he never says doom. That's it. Just doom. Ha ha. Serenity is the ability to accept things we cannot control. Wisdom recognizes which things we do and do not control. Doom is not a part of that equation. Doom and gloom prophecies may sound Christian, quote-unquote, to some, but people with a life of routine answered prayer quickly recognize the fake because they know the real thing. Doom and gloom prophecy is actually witchcraft, and witchcraft can easily be defeated through prayer. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Christians are finally getting a dose of their own pharmacy. Jesus taught us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. God commanded Israel, don't judge another man's servant. Yet, for decades, Christians criticize non-Christians for not exercising Christian values. Now, non-Christians are judging Christians by non-Christian standards. Jesus' concept of salt and light is entirely different and preferable compared to all of this. Salt mingles with the food up close and personal. Light shines and does not hide. Christians, however, acted as batons and handcuffs with people they couldn't convert because they weren't close enough to make a difference. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. A friend asked me today, why do Christians love to hurt each other so much? I had to explain that Sunday morning originally had a monopoly with roots in European feudalism. People were required not only to obey their government leaders, but also to love them, quote-unquote. Just how Sunday morning leaders demand allegiance. Turf warring is profitable. It is the business model used in illegal narcotics, prostitution, and piano tuning, interestingly enough. Guilds were commonplace for many trades during the Middle Ages. The more ancient guilds grew, the more interested local governments became in controlling them. Now... It's Sunday morning's turn. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele.
Pacific Daily Times, know each other. Strength in God, via our own weakness, is a far cry from flexing weak muscles in public. Heroes use whatever strengths they have to help others, even when most of the world views them as weak, even when their strengths are not traditionally accepted by their society. Everyone's strength is different. Strength comes from talents we are born with, the passions we develop, and the skills to which we lend our time. Strength isn't muscular, rhetorical, nor theatrical. It is pure diligence and conviction. Those who appear weak should be feared, while those who act strong might not be trustworthy. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Fear yourself. You are your own worst enemy and your own best friend. You wield the power of choice over your own life, a power greater than anyone else has over you. Those whom you fear, fear you more. They're just better at hiding it. Your oppressors will always fear you more than you fear yourself. When you learn to fear yourself, they will finally fear you enough to stop oppressing you because they will know that you know that you have nothing to lose. Those who do not fear themselves certainly should. They have every reason to. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Nothing good and lasting comes without preparation. Don't be in a hurry. We've all been told this, but then we see the speedy success of those around us and immediately start to think we did something wrong. Should I have promoted myself more? Should I have asked more friends to give referrals? Should I have taken more classes? Should I have been born into a different family? Self-doubting questions are ultimately about which shortcut to take. But there are no shortcuts to success, only dead ends and deadly cliffs. So never fear the speedy rise of thine enemy. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. The best kept secret about power is in the details. Power and vision don't only come from seeing the big picture, but seeing the small things from miles away. God has power because his eye is on every sparrow. Details are easy to misunderstand. We often overrate them, ignore them, neglect them, worry about them, belittle them, obsess over them. But the power brokers work them. Older and younger generations among the masses bicker over the importance of details. They don't need to be controlled. They keep themselves weak, while lawyers and accountants work the details because they live there. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. This isn't about the oppressed or the unfortunate, the weak or minorities, underclass, the censored or martyred. It's not about ideologies or punishing people you don't like. Or maybe it is. People are oppressed, both majority and minority, because the most incompetent seem to be the most ambitious. Smart people need to stop being so darn polite and start taking stuff away from fools who only use their stuff to stay in power after normal people would fail. We need to stop arguing with idiots and starting e eating the idiots' lunches. Otherwise, idiots will keep running the world. 
And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Contrary to normal fears, the United States is strong. Elements of peace are surfacing in the Mideast. Truth is breaking up brittle political structures. Protests in Chicago are simmering down after points have been made, and old establishments know their days are numbered. No one wants the U.S. scared, fighting, and disarmed as much as China. So don't give in to them. Keep strong. Keep real. Keep peace. Enjoy this Christmas. Let the wicked men waste their time over the holidays as they always do. Black Friday spoke for itself. After the holidays pass, it's game on once again. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Prayer is the great equalizer. In the presence of our Creator, there are no journalists, no ushers, no security guards, no VIPs or executives. We're all just forgiven sinners making intercession to an audience of one. Sure, we may wear an ID badge or a bracelet pass, but prayer levels the fields of earth and lays us bare before the one who loved us from the beginning. The divisions and levels, tears built and tears shed between us come from ourselves. So we are left with this. What quakes are required to drive us back to the great equalizer. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Leaning on our own knowledge of any given situation is never enough. We just don't know enough. We can't see the tops of our own heads and only rarely see the tops of others. Even soldiers understand the need to have eyes up high. As the cultures and the peoples on earth mature, our political, economic, social, and religious ideologies will be tested. Survival will prove the more powerful perspective Dissatisfaction will soon become the primary reason for a different path. How many paths before you settle? Which eyes up high can guide you to safety, actually? That is the religious question. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other.